The team over at G5 Entertainment puts a lot of games on the App Store. With exceptions so few I literally can't even think of any, those are almost always hidden object adventure games. So imagine my surprise when I loaded up this one and... What, what's this? A, a physics-based platformer? But, it, but I didn't have to find anything. It's Jumpster for the iPhone! <laughs> So obviously, it's exciting to see G5 diversify their portfolio a bit. And I was even more excited about Jumpster once I started playing the freaking thing. This is a really fun game with smart puzzles and great artwork, and in-app purchases so forced they almost ruined the whole thing. You play as a little alien who crashes his ship on the strange planet of Ocadia. In fact, strange might be an understatement for the things he finds there. Jumpster has a very cool look that feels equal parts Feed Me Oil and Tim Burton, only with brighter colors and a tamer, somewhat Saturday morning feel. Nonetheless, it looks awesome in motion and is almost always a visual treat. Still, your alien's less concerned with taking in the sights than getting back home. He has to collect all the fuel that spilled from his ship, uh, which was conveniently dropped in blobs of three per area, and get back to the UFO. The problem is, he's an aquatic life form, so he can't stay out of the water long. Coincidentally, that makes him the perfect specimen for a puzzle game. So basically, you're launching the little jumpster from puddle to puddle across the surface of these surreal alien landscapes, collecting fuel, avoiding death, and then returning him to his ship. You play by pulling back and launching him Angry Bird style, which works great, and the level designs actually get really tricky. That is, if you're willing to pay for them. See, Jumpster is a free game, but it's designed so that you're pretty much forced to make in-app purchases to experience the full thing. Every move drains your stamina, and once that's empty, you have to eat to refill it. This margarita will do the trick, but the tab's gonna be 75 coins. You're in five for leveling up. Now, the freemium games are perfectly fair, but you have to find the right balance. Jumpster doesn't. This is an awesome physics platformer, but if you want to see everything its beautiful worlds have to offer, it is going to cost you. Like, real Earth money. 